Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, these are testing and troubled times. The COVID pandemic has exposed our fundamental vulnerabilities. Our vulnerability as individuals. Suddenly, we are limited in contacts with friends and family. But also our vulnerability as a global community. The greatest danger now is that it would allow this pandemic to divide us. It would allow this health crisis to be turned into a geopolitical issue fight between nations a race to the bottom while the only thing that will save us is international cooperation there will be light at the end of this tunnel if we work together because despite all crises in recent decades despite the rise of nationalism we must recognize multilateralism stood firm it is thanks to organizations such as the united nations the who but also the european union that real progress and real solutions are created. For example, by setting up a common vaccine strategy. It is thanks to joint investment and joint procurement schemes that we will soon have access to various vaccines. Vaccines that are safe and effective. This is not the achievement of one country, one man, one government or one company. This is the achievement of international cooperation, common efforts transcending borders and national markets. That is why Belgium wants free and fair access to these vaccines for all countries. Cette pandémie est plus qu'une crise sanitaire. La COVID a également un énorme impact socio-économique. Elle exacerbe les problèmes existants tels que les inégalités de revenus et elle met les droits fondamentaux sous pression sur tous ceux qui étaient déjà dans une mauvaise passe avant la crise. Dans ce domaine aussi, des actions internationales conjointes s'imposent. La crise Covid doit devenir l'occasion de forger une nouvelle économie. Pas juste une économie plus durable et plus, plus numérique que l'ancienne. Une économie qui serait aussi plus juste, plus inclusive. Une société qui octroierait aux jeunes filles et aux femmes un meilleur accès aux soins de santé, au marché du travail, au crédit d'investissement, à l'entrepreneuriat. Parce que l'indépendance économique est aussi un gage pour des citoyens plus forts et des voix plus fortes dans les débats politiques. So let us not only overcome this pandemic together, but let's use it to strengthen our democracies and to create a more inclusive civic space. A civic space in which there is room for everyone, regardless of skin color, gender, sexual orientation, or religion. Excellencies, this special occasion offers us the opportunity to make a new start. Despite cautious optimism about the vaccines, global challenges remain immense. But we have to remember one thing. We're all in this together. And together, we can and we will overcome every challenge on our way. Belgium stands ready to do its part. Thank you.